you said that, well, you said several things, but you said you wanted to come back on the show uh, because you wanted to really reveal the truth. You said that you didn't get to tell your side of the story. And you also said that you felt like Dr. Phil just hated me. I don't hate you. Uh, I'm not mad at you. I'm here to help you work this out. You said that you didn't get to tell your side of the story and you wanted to set the record straight. So you're out here by yourself <laughs> without them because I wanted you to have a chance to do that. For example, you said that Linda just said things that were just flat out lies about you when you were here. And I made a list of them. You said sure. she, that she lied that you sleep all the time. Mm -hmm. And you actually said that uh -huh. there were really only six times and that, that, that you just kind of slept throughout the day and did not answer the door. And that this was because you had depression and anxiety it's due to Linda and Joey and what stress. they were saying and doing. Well, no, it's not. I didn't say it was due to them. I said it was because of the stress of the situation, meaning like court and everything. Just like the, I just summed it up as a whole. Mm -hmm. Meaning, like, um, I don't have a good support system. It's myself. Right. And um, dealing with three years of court is a lot. When you say there have been maybe six times, half a dozen times, that You've done I've what? Just, I've just fallen asleep, and it's just because I cannot take any more stress. And like, I missed um, picking up my daughter from school, and it's not like, it's so like, I agree that, that that is scary. I'm not denying it. Are, are these the times that she's talking about where they knock on the door and you just won't answer, yeah. won't answer, won't answer, won't answer, and, and the girls like, are left locked out of the apartment for hours at a time? Well, it's not. Hours, but well, I mean, it has been on. A couple so that's what she's of, saying. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it has been on a couple of occasions, but um, but like I said, yeah, no, these are the the times she is okay. she brought up. But as far as everything else, no. One of the things she said that there are strange men in the apartment, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you say that there's only been one man, mm -hmm. a friend at yeah. the apartment that you've had over when the girls were away and that you've been talking to uh, a few boys, but no sex, and... Well, either way, it's really nobody's, like it's nobody's business what I do on my time. When my daughters are present, it's about them, and I make sure of it. So you just wanted to get it straight. You're yeah, not I'm, having... Yeah, no. Um, I'm not, well, it's like she's even sent me messages where she's like, oh, I never called you a whore or a bad mother. And I'm like, well, you kind of did, you know, you did say that all like everybody else. And then she's like, I never. And then she's like, I never called you a drug addict. I know you barely take aspirin. And I'm like, no, you kind of did. With regard to taking drugs, that you were tested by the police last October, mm -hmm. uh, CPS three times, and you passed. Um, yeah, I was actually and, just recently I processed sobriety test in November. And you told Joey pick a day and yep. you'd take a test, but that he hasn't. No, he, he refused to. And not just that, he actually admitted last year in open court that, oh wait, it's been 10 years. I don't, I've never done drugs during the marriage. Uh -huh. And then he even sent me a text last November and he's like, everybody knows it's the past, which takes us back to high school. Uh -huh. And you say you won't even take pills when you're sick. Nope. So <laughs> those allegations were just wrong and you yeah. said you, and you said you didn't want to take a drug test because you don't have to take I'm a like, drug test. I'm like, at this point, well, like I said, I just passed one in November, and it's just like, I, after I, I thought about it, like, logically, at this point in time, it's just like, it's so redundant and ridiculous. And you didn't take the drug test here last time because you said you, you it, couldn't urinate. No. And you said you didn't <laughs> urinate till 5.30 like the next the morning. morning. Yep. And then, wow. So, like, I have a, I'm used to going, 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 going where it's like, I don't get a break for myself. Like, I only have me and my daughters. Yeah. You're a medical miracle. <laughs> no, really, truly, like, I, and I don't drink that much, like, fluids, like, normally. Like, I just, I don't know, I just. You drank a lot of fluids here. Well, that one, yeah, because I drank a lot with, I had, um, like, three drinks that day. So you, you went over 24 hours without 
No, I went probably about 12 hours. Was it 24? I don't know. What time did we get home? I guess, yeah, it was about 24 hours. But I woke up and I was like, I have to go party. And I ran. It's frustrating for me because it's like, at the end of the day, I was portrayed as a whole different person than I truly am.